Hi, this is Jody from Poppy Winkle, and today I'm going to show you five fun ways to use these. Um, I call them paint samples, but I've heard people call them paint chips, whatever. You get them at the hardware store. Um, but anyway, they're fun to use. They're such a nice texture, and they're they're sturdy. You know, they're sturdier than cardstock. And so I have some great ways to use them. The first way is I use them as a frame. So right here is the tiniest little one. I just cut out kind of a rounded rectangle and I put a word on there with, um, I, t I printed it on tissue paper so it kind of disappears. And I just glued that on and it just makes a nice little frame for things because it because again because of the texture and the pretty colors and because of the the heaviness of it and here's a frame another frame this was again the paint chip is in the background and i just cut out a rectangle and then I used a hole punch to kind of make a ticket shape. I did it on this one too, if you can see that. So I just cut off the corners there. And then I decorated it and put two brads through and then it makes a nice envelope closure. I made this envelope out of a book page. And again, the sturdiness of the paint chip just makes it perfect for these kinds of things. Here's another frame. I just took one of these kind, and I didn't really like the writing, so I put my ruler, you know, real close to the edge and cut out the cut out the bear. Oh no, the, I, I don't think I could cut out the bear and that's why I put that sticker there. But I did cut around the, the writing. And then of course I used this inside um, as well. Like I didn't just throw out the inside. So those are some frame ideas. Oh, I have one more? I think I have one more. Yeah, here. Again, with the, with the ticket shape, and then I decorated it, and it makes just a nice little, little page decoration there. I just realized I counted wrong, and I actually have six. <laughs> I actually have six ways to use them. So, number one was use them as frames, and number two is to use them to make a circular closure right here. Here's one I used. So I made this envelope out of scrapbook paper and then these circular mechanisms there are um, that's the paint chips. And again the the weight of them makes them ideal for this. They're, they're stronger than cardstock and so you have this nice little envelope with that cute closure. And the way you make those, I'm going to make this as a stand-in page. Like I'm going to make the page out here and then I'm just going to glue it in to the book here. So you take your paint chips and you cut them into a circle and you put a hole in the center and then I made this the width of the page and this is slightly smaller than that so it folds in and then this I made to fold to the middle so we can have a pretty closure here. So you just take a brad, put it through the center of the hole and then put it through the hole in the page. 
I didn't make the hole big enough. There we go. And then you just open it up. So there's one. And then you do the same over here. And you want to decide which side you want your string to be on. It's not a critical decision. But I think I'll put mine over here. So you just get a little piece of string. And you tie it in a couple of knots here under, under the circle. And then pull it snug to the brad. And then you can clip that off if you want, which I do. And then you just wrap it around like that. I've got to cut that off. <laughs> that offends me. There we go. And then you put it in your book. I'll just glue this. I'll glue it on the back side. I'll glue it here and here and here. And then I'll have a pocket on top. So it'll go on that page. And then it'll have a pocket here. Because I'm not going to glue it all the way to the bottom. And then you have a fun little journaling spot that secret. So anyway, paint chip use number two is as a circular fastener. The third way to use up these paint chips is to emboss on them. So if you have one of those embossing machines, um, get it out and give it a shot. I was not sure if this would work or not. It's, um, I, I thought maybe it was too thick, but it went through like a champ and it looks so pretty. After I embossed it, I put a piece of uh, manila folder on the back to cover up the, the writing. Most of them have writing on the back. And so that way it just looks prettier and you could journal on that spot. But I decided to make a bookmark out of it. And I wanted to cover this. So I used another paint chip and cut it out in a whale tail shape. Tied a little, put a, put a eyelet through it and tied a little handmade tassel. And then I'm just going to slip that right over there and glue it on. And then we have a pretty bookmark to go into your journal. So that's the third way is embossing. Fourth fun way to make, use paint chips is to make pockets. They're super sturdy so they're not going to rip as you put things in and out. This one had some writing right there. And I didn't like how obvious that was, so I put some washi tape over it and then just tucked it around and then I glued it in. So I wrapped it around the back to keep it secure and then I just glued like this around the sides and the bottom and then we have a nice pocket with a little envelope in it and a specimen slide. That's made out of a junk mail envelope. I have a free printable. I'll link to if you want to make any of those. They're fun. And a little card in there. So there's a pocket. Now this pocket, <laughs> these two pockets, I embossed them first before I put them in here obviously. So I embossed them and then did the, the glue just around the bottom and sides again. And so now I have two pockets for little fun things. So whoever gets this can decorate their own junk, junk journal. And then here's one more pocket. This one has a folio in it. And I have a free printable for this too. Oh, circular closures. So if you want to 
make that. They're, that's a good way to put stickers in, too. They're really fun to stick things in there. Stickers or little notes. So anyway, pockets. Great way to use up the paint chips. The fifth way to use up paint chips is to use punches. Again, their sturdy, their sturdiness lends them very well to um, being useful that way. Unfortunately, the only punches I have are circular. But you know, if you have a butterfly or a flower, you could do so many things with them. But even with just the circle, um, yeah, I I got a lot of, I got a lot out of it. The other circles I used, I have two different size hole punches. And so I, I have a tiny little one here, and then I have the regular size hole punch, which is there. So anyway, with just three circles, I got a lot done. And here the, the circular punch one is. And if you're careful, you can also use the background. So if you know, if you if you make it look nice, then you can leave yourself with something that you also want to use. So here's how I used these in my journal. This one here, the background was a paint chip, but also right here I needed a little something there. And that's a piece of paint chip. These are all paint chips. And they're nice and sturdy, and they need to be because they're, whoops, <laughs> they're um, hanging out over the edge of the page. And cardstock would bend over time, but these are sturdy enough to stay firm, even though they're over the edge like that. And what I did was I just took a little hole punch and put two holes in each one, and then threaded some string through, some twine, and just I just glued them on the edge, on this one side. So I glued half of it and then put that on the page like that. So that looks pretty cool. Nice little thing hanging over. All right, here we have a Rolodex card and I used some paint chip punch outs for bubbles for my fish. Here, here I used on this tag, I used one little cutout here, and then here I used the whole background. So these are all the cutout holes, and I put washi tape behind, behind it. And one more, right here. This was the outside, which I cut into a frame, and then the inside I cut some some holes out. And the sixth way to use paint chips is to make tabs. They're a really good weight for tabs and so you just take one and you're going to trace it onto the paint chip. If you don't have any tabs just let me know and I'll send you one. Just leave me a comment. Um, so anyway, the one thing I have noticed is different Different paint chips, different brands have different thickness. So when I went to fold this one in half, it it kind of cracked. So this one wouldn't work really as a tab and it might not emboss well either um, because it's it doesn't want to be folded. It's too thick or brittle or something. But the way I did it was I got a nice one that would fold and I just stuck the tab over and then I just cut out around it. I didn't really trace it. I just used the scissors and cut around. And so then I got this out of the paint chip. And that's good for topping a tag or a bookmark like here or for using as an actual tab on the on a page like this one. So you would just glue that on to there on either side and you can also use them as a hinge so if I wanted to have a 
a fold up page. Okay. I could put it here and just glue this onto the back or over here, whatever, it doesn't matter. And then glue that and then it could open up like this. So they're good to use as a hinge too. So anyway, those are six ways to use paint chips. If you have any ideas, let me know in the comments. And if you like this video, give me a thumbs up and maybe subscribe to my channel. And thanks for watching. Bye.